Team Toa is gonna start with the ball. 20 minute running clock. Have to get to the other team's 20. It's gotten a little bit overcast. The wind has picked up. There are a couple raindrops here in Orlando, Florida. We could not be more excited for this matchup. Madden taking a shot off the rip. Ooh. A little bit too long for his intended receiver, Dylan Booth. Fellas, let's exhale for a second. We just watched a crazy game. Trillion boys punch their ticket to the championship. All these teams here trying to punch their ticket to the championship in June, but Trillion Boys will be coming up at 4 o'clock on NFL Network. That was an insane game. I mean, every quarterfinal game, every semifinal game, or the only other semifinal game has been crazy close. The only team that's kind of dominated was Team Toa. And I want to see if they can come out here against a very talented boom team and try to do the same thing over again. And Mo, and Mo it's four-star Madney Yamaleava. You're the QB guru. Ah, QB guru. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Uh, what do you like most about him? Yeah, Madden is a stud as we watch him throw that beautiful 10 yard out with great timing, anticipation, and accuracy. Um, I love his deep ball accuracy as well. It was an uncharacteristic miss on that first play. I love how he has so much confidence in his ability to throw the ball into tight windows. We talked to him actually earlier in the game. He got caught on a few interceptions, but what did we say? We said, keep shooting, shoot or shoot. He has that confidence. That's what makes him so great and he's gonna keep doing it today. His brother, Nico, was the star of OT7 season one. He's now the starting QB at Tennessee, and Madden has absolutely skyrocketed. And he's no stranger to this situation either, though. They made the championship in Baltimore against level 82 and ended up falling up short against a team that was on fire. Oh, just misses his guy right there. A little too much sauce on that one. Protect Philippe, you know what I mean? Too much sauce. A little too much juice. Too much juice right there. Yeah, no, I, I just think Team Toa is going to be not a stranger to this moment. They have a big fourth and seven, though. Need to announce themselves early. I think the matchup to watch in this game, though, we know what Madden brings to the table. Defensively, how do they match up against a boom offense that has been on fire with Jonas Williams at the end? They have, but Toa's defense has been hot as well. Exactly. Potentially amongst the best in this entire tournament. 100%. Two of the better defenses here, and we have a big fourth and seven for Madden and his offense. Looking over the middle, has his man incomplete. Good job. Mama's Good job. milk Not Mama's is on milk. the floor again. A perfect pass from Iyamaleava. Couldn't connect with his receiver in the end zone. And he put a perfect amount of touch on that. Hits him right in the chest. And Javon Lamont Downing has had such a good weekend. I know he'll bounce back from that. But that had to be brought in. And an unfortunate start for Team Toa. Boom, with good field position. And that's the marking of a good quarterback. We saw two early misses. They didn't put enough touch. What did he do? He realized that he goes back. Beautiful ball, we need to catch that. Like Kieran said, mama's milk on the ground, can't see that. They'll be all right, man. Goodness gracious. Williams over the middle, that's complete. Now we're in the semifinals here. Let's throw it down to Tom, who's standing by the big board to check out the bracket. Yes, fellas, we had 12 teams to start the day. Now we are down to just three. You see here, Midwest Boom facing off against the two seed, Team Toa. The winner here will face number one, Trillion Boys, in the finals. How we got here, Midwest Boom won an incredible game against number six seeded Cali Power. Almost got eliminated there. Team Toa's kind of been running through this whole entire thing. So a lot going down but we'll see which one of these two teams gets to face off against the Trillion Boys on NFL Network. Mm. Intended it. for Ian Willis, the three-star. So it's Jonas Williams, the four-star in at QB. 6'3", 185, has offers from Arkansas, Mizzou, Michigan, Ohio State, class of 2026. And Mo, you've been super impressed with him this whole weekend. Look, I am on the Jonas Williams hype train if there ever were one. This guy is just now hitting his stride. He had a month where he had 10 plus offers just within that 30 day stretch. His recruitment is heating up, like you said, all those SEC Big Ten offers. Um, look, he is the making of a five star quarterback. I think after this weekend, a strong showing, he's gonna show recruiting sites why he deserves to be in that top class. And that guy right there, Talon Taylor, is a favorite target of his. He's also a four star out of Geneva, Illinois, and he's taken off in the last year. He had a great year last year at season two, and Karen, we've enjoyed watching him blossom here in season three. It's been incredible, man. Talon Taylor is an absolute stud, and he's unguardable, and that's a touchdown. Oh, oh. Wow. oh Tom. Into the end zone, number one, Talon Taylor. Look, that was very close. We're gonna have to take another look at that one, but man, Talon Taylor really just 
announcing himself as one of the best wide receivers here in all of OT7. He's been unguardable against any opponents. He runs so smooth, he's so fast, and it doesn't matter. Oh, that was close, man. They're, they're there was a bobble. Right so we're reviewing it right now. Catch a bit of a touch, loses the ball. Whenever he gathers possession, I'm wondering if that's where the spot is going to be. Look, I think it's a touchdown, and it's better offense to come back great defense, right? It was a back shoulder ball on a wheel down in this low red zone. They had a slant on the outside, a wheel. Jonas Williams puts it right on the money. He's a yard short. Oh. Just going to mark him a yard short right there. Heavy contact. I mean, good DB play. Oh, wow. And now, great DB play. Not great DB play, honestly. Another hey. chance to get a stop Yo, right here. Take the ball, roll it left. Take the ball, roll it left. In no, the red area. Roll left. So look, they want the ball on the left hash. That either means that he's going to roll right to have more field to play with, or they're looking for a one-on-one -on -one matchup to the field. Big fourth down right here because he was tagged short at the one-yard line. Jonas Williams got to make something happen. Man in motion, rolling out to the left. Yep. Touchdown. Better late than never. But never late is better. <laughs> Too easy for Ian Willis, and he is having himself a day. Catching everything. Some would say redemption tour. It is. It's a redemption tour for him. And I, honestly, I think nobody's really capable of guarding this guy. He's getting open time and time and time again. Yeah, Ian is so effective right there on the slot. He's got offers from Bowling Green, Miami, Howard Marshall. I love his ability to go against these nickel guys on these short intermediate routes. Now it's time to see Madden clap back. Easily the drippiest quarterback in all of seven on seven football. Ooh. Madden pumping a couple times, grounds it. And that will be a four second sack. Madden ditching the pajama pants now and yeah, going no. with the sunglass look. I, I still think I've got him number one in terms of drip. Yeah, he's got the sunglass, he's got the chain, he's got the Jesus piece on, he's got the the, 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 <laughs> the, the the soccer jersey is so tough. I like that. And then also today, you know, he, he had the sweats yesterday. Today he's got like the little swimming trunks on. Because it's all business. Yeah, no, that's, it's all business. That's his coach. He goes by Big Nick. He is a mountain of a man. Great guy. Large Over the middle. Oh, oh my the gosh. Hands. Off the hands of Jace Brown. Into the hands of Williams. What a play. That's the Mari Wingo with the catch right there. Wingo, excuse me. Go on. Putting his hand out right there, just a lean back. A lead, a lead. I cannot believe he brought that in. I thought I thought it was tipped up and might have been intercepted, but there was no one else in the area. Samori Wingo said, "Oh, hold up, I got it. Let me just let me come back here, reach back like one three, like one three, like one three. Third and seven. Let's go. Madden in the pocket, pumps once, has his man over the middle, and Team Toa is on the board." He might be the best athlete out here at Bull Sanders, the four-star linebacker committed to play for the Crimson Tide. Don't give a fuck about nothing but the Tide. He can also play ball on the offensive side. Look at the look at the hands. Soft hands away from his body, catching something over his head. A lot of linebackers aren't capable of doing that. You're going to see some pick sixes in the SEC here pretty soon, Tide fans. Kieran, I've never seen a linebacker with hands and route running like Abdul Sanders. <laughs> Alabama's got themselves a good one. Those are great traits to have in the modern era of football as well. Going to be running routes for, for running backs later on. Taking a shot deep. Goodness, what a pass breakup right there. A lot of guys in the area tried to get the go ball to Talon Taylor, and that's going to be an incomplete pass. Take another look, taking a shot deep. Taylor was in the area. Unbelievable break up there. Yeah, guys, the, and the, effort, the offense is, they're upset that the other receiver was kind of a little too close to him. And the effort right there from the DB Gentle was incredible, simply because he was getting his jersey tugged at. The Hawaii receiver for Bill hey, was trying to hold him back from making a play on that. <clears throat> Four, or no, two, make sure you make eye contact. Four, take your time. Three on the post, one on the dig. Let's go. You got him. Second and 20. Jonas Williams, the four-star QB, Michigan, Ohio State are after him. And he's looking deep right now, looking over the middle. What a pass breakup, back-to-back -back plays by 13. I'm, I'm so impressed right now. I am so impressed. Stacy Chittle is out here making plays time and time again. That is two back-to-back -back incredible plays. It was a really, really good play call. Truly, our Team Toa had a perfect coverage for it, and he made sure, hey, look, you're not leaving here with this football, young man. Give me that. Gentle only has one offer. It's from Idaho. 
He's class of 2025. If you're a college team looking for a DB and you see those two plays back to back, give number 13 a call out of Palmdale, California. <laughs> Said, I would think I'm going to eat the whole thing. Give me that. Third and 20, looking deep. Another pass breakup. CJ McBean on the coverage. My goodness, this defensive back crew, because Jonas has been throwing the ball on the money. It's just been better defense early on. This defense from Team Toe is incredible. Opportunity to flip the field here. They're not going to take it. Boom is going to try to take the shot downfield. Crossing the midway point in this game. Risky decision by Coach JR. Hey, know where the sticks are. It's 20 yards. Hey, know where the sticks are. 20 yards. Yep, know where the sticks are. Let's go, get to that diamond. It's gonna be a fourth down. Yep. Right here, if I'm a DB, I need to play smart. Do not give them a fourth I, down with, with, with the penalty. Fellas, I hate this decision. Fourth and 20 at your own 10. I like it. When you got guys like Talon Taylor back there, I love the decision. They could easily get it, but it is risky. Over the middle and broken up Team Toa. Straps! My goodness, we talked so much about this Team Toa defense. Right there, one of the best defensive possessions we have seen all season at OT7. I've never seen a defense stop Midwest Boom. And they didn't even get a first down right there. This Team Toa defense is championship caliber. Jonah, Jonas Williams will be playing a lot of football on Saturdays, and they just stopped him from getting a first down. Toa is legit. And the big thing is, Big Mo is now on their side and only 10 yards to operate for Madden Williams to turn the tide in this here football game. I just don't love that decision, especially with how the first three plays that drive went. Boom receivers had trouble getting separation. Sticky defense by Team Toa, and now they take over at the Boom 10. Madden looking to make them pay. Over the middle, broken up. Midwest Boom trying to play a little defense of their own. Oh, yeah, that decision by the Midwest Boom offensive coaches to go for it right there is just like betting on New York's Knicks playoff basketball. Risky. You want to get into this right now? I'll drop the, the middle, gloves. Right? I'll drop the gloves. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Seven, seven. We got a break from some offensive games. I feel like these past three games yeah. have been shootouts. We've got a defensive battle here. Exactly. Talk, talk, talk. Madden directing traffic, missed his man. He wants to have that one back. Yeah. He had Dylan Booth over the middle early open. The thing is, Dylan Booth's got to get his eyes back earlier, and he runs upfield just. Not the correct timing of the cut up here. Yeah, Madden, hey, Madden taps himself. He, he acknowledges that that's on him. They've, get, they've got three more downs here. I'm going to look for him to target Jace Brown, number two, his high school teammate. Feels so comfortable with him. Going to have two more downs here. Oh, two more downs. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be third down right now. Play the snap. 28, 29. Five. 30. Clock is running. They're at the 10 yard line. Third and goal from the 10. Madden rolling right. Has his man in the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Marcus Keir. Team Toa with Big Mo on their side. Got all of the momentum. Mo, what, did, what, what just happened right there? Great job by putting Madden Williams on a little half roll to the boundary. Let's flip the field. He's got an out route to his dynamic target. Puts it right where he can get it on the front pylon. And guys, don't look now. Team Toa takes a seven point lead with six minutes left. A dart from Iyamaleava, but you're right, Kieran. Marcus Kier has been a favorite of his all weekend. 100% him. Jace Brown's had a quieter week this week, but the rest of these guys have really stepped up around him. That's a completion of 10 and change. It'll be a second in short. Midwest Boom down seven with under seven minutes remaining. No money drive here. Hey, let's go! Gonna see what they got going on. Jonas Williams, been on fire today. Kind of slow start to this game. Can he get it going? Over the middle, that's complete. Ian Willis, and that gives him a new set of downs. And Tom standing by with the coach of Midwest Boom, Coach JR. Hey, fellas, I am with Coach JR. Midwest Boom off to a, an okay start. How are you feeling so far? Hey, it, we're in semifinals, and this is the best tournament in the country, so every game is going to have to be earned, not given. So we understand this, and we're going to keep focusing on us. And earlier, you let, you told the offense to go for it on fourth and 20. Is that because you have so much confidence in the defense? Where, where does the decision come from there? 
statistically speaking, it's harder to score 10 and in than, than drive it four. Most of the yards are, are bombs. The touchdowns are bombs. So it's harder to score 10 and in than it is drive at 50. So we'll take that any day. And you're facing off against Team Toa. Big Nick, the coach on the other side. Any intimidation that he's the biggest man I've ever seen? No, he, he's wearing sleeves. But if he wore sleeves, he wouldn't compare to these biceps right here. OK, I'm going to let you get back to it, Coach. <laughs> back to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> coach Nick, coach, coach, and JR coach, fight. I love Coach. I love Coach watch. JR. I don't think he wants any problems with Big Nick over there. <laughs> he just started laughing hysterically right after the interview. Yeah. <laughs> Second and goal from the 15-yard line, over the middle. That is brought in Ian Willis with a big day today. Big day for Ian Willis. He's got redemption on my mind. I you guys should be banned from talking about it. I thought you were going to go redemption song there. I mean, hey, old pirates, yes, they were out by. If you guys All jinx, jinx this again. All night on a five-yard slam. <laughs> Over the middle, got him. touchdown. LeBron Hill. LeBron Hill. LeBron Hill. Over the middle, and we got a tie ball game. LeBron Hill is such a big target, 6'5", 180. They love to target this guy in the back of the end zone. I mean, who wouldn't? This dude just towers over everyone else. Throw it up, let the big man get it. Too big of a target right there. And look, guys, this is what I talk about a lot. Four minutes left on the clock. Team Toa, they're going to elect to not go money drive and I don't understand. We need to see the preemptive money drive because if Team Toa scores here, it would be a no-brainer for Midwest Boom to use their money yeah, drive. Exactly. We've seen this about four times now. No preemptive money drive makes yeah. no sense. This, yeah. no sense. This is how Cali Power hey, lost. Hey, hey. And you know what? If Team Toe is playing with fire here. By the way, championship is at 4 o'clock Eastern over on NFL Network. It'll be the Trillion Boys facing off against the winner. Toa and Boom. Three minutes and change remaining. Second and 20. Dangerous play here. And look, with no money drive, there's a scenario where Toa scores. Midwest Boom gets the ball back with around a minute left, uses the money drive, and that's how you win the game. It just, the, the logic here just makes no sense of not using it. You got to focus on getting out of the field right here, though. Anyway, Team Toa. Over the middle! Oh, it works! Touchdown! Hey! Oh, two for one! Two for one! Two for one! The two for one could work! The two for one. We're getting mad analytical right now. But what a ball there for Matt Niyama Layama. And Team Toa takes back the lead. And also, the difference is here. Team Toa has an elite defense. That's they right. probably have the best defense here. They're going to trust their unit to get a stop. But Aaron, like we said, you're in charge of spacing the three, five, you got deep. Money. Hey, you could drip this. Wingo the Ronnie, four. You that. Wingo the four star with the touchdown class of 2026 offers from Miami, Michigan. Big wide out, 6'2", 175. And with a money drive here by Midwest Boom, they are looking for the knockout punch. Absolutely. You can't score too quickly. You want this to be your last drive. Yeah. I think that's what they're going to try to plan for right here. Just pick up the yards that they give you. If, if I'm if I'm Toa right here, I'm calling my most aggressive defense. I'm getting up in their face. Good work, good work. Ten points for a touchdown. Breathe, defense can pick up four or six right points with a stop or a pick. And all comes down to this for Midwest Boom. Team right, Toa, Toa, desperate for a stop. Now by aggression, do you mean rushing? Jonas Williams because he's an athletic guy. If you haven't pulled it out yet, I would say if you can disguise one, sure, but a lot of teams are going away from it. I just want hands on man. Ooh, over the middle with room to run. It's That's what I mean by Boom, and down at the 10 yard line, it'll be first and goal with 90 seconds remaining. That's what I mean by aggressive right there. Try to jump in front of routes, but hey, when you got a 6 5 target, it's hard to get where he can. And right here, I don't think Boom. Is going to try to run a play before this one minute warning is up. LeBron Hill, another big play. He is a tough guy with the ball in his hands. Yeah. Going to see what we can do right here, though. Midwest Boom with the first down. They got four plays from the 11, and only about a minute left in this game. Last play before the one minute warning. That's broken up by Sanders, the Alabama commit. And with 59 seconds left, we hit the one minute warning. The clock will stop. And we have second and goal from the 10 yard line. That incompletion right there saves about 25, 30 seconds. Yeah. Second and goal. No, no, no. It's the one minute, the one minute right. drive. So oh, okay. Okay. Get in there. Understood. Yeah, yeah but go. right hey, now. Well, good. Let's go. Hey, Oprah, Oprah. Come on. If, I, if I'm the boom coach, though, I'm calling one play inbounds right here. I don't want to score a touchdown too quickly and give them a chance to get the money ball back on me. They called Oprah. 
Who knows what that means? But here we go. We'll find out. Williams over the middle. What a catch! Oh my goodness! Touchdown! Talon Taylor! You get a touchdown! You get a touchdown! You get a touchdown! Talon Taylor climbing the ladder to catch that one. This dude is so dynamic, so tall, with the long arms, and he puts it all to use. Touchdown for Midwest Boom. They take the lead with only a minute left in this game. What a catch. Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness. And I can only hope that CJ McBean, the Toa, the Toa DB is okay. Talon ended up landing right on top of him. There's so much at stake here with entry into the OT7 let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Regional Championship. These guys are going at it. It's getting physical. Taylor and Taylor, what a catch. The four-star wideout from Geneva, Illinois. He just went on visits to Notre Dame, UGA, Ohio State. He has been in the end zone all weekend, all season, and gets another big one. He already has offers from Bama, Georgia, Iowa, a bunch of other schools, but Talon Taylor at 6'2", 175, has looked like one of the best receivers in the country. Yeah, his, mom's a, his mom's a sophomore coach over at Ohio State, and I think that might be the favorite to get him right now. If I'm Ohio State, I'm making that call every single time. He's long, he's athletic, and he's shifty as well at, at that size. Man, we need a petition for Ohio State to stop getting all these five-star receivers. Can we, can we? Can, we, can someone else get them? I'm sick of them, man. We need I'm someone else to get these wideouts. Sick of Iowa. How, State how about uh, he's got an Iowa offer? How about Iowa? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Iowa needs all the receiving help. They need all the receiving Iowa help. Iowa needs all of the play calling help, all of the quarterback help, all of the receiving help, all of the everything help. <laughs> but he does have an Alabama offer. He does fit the mold of some of those guys of past who all went first round. He is next up. He's standing by with overtime Tom right now. What's going on, guys? Hey, thanks guys. Talon Taylor, amazing catch. Take me through what happened on the play. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So we had an option route, you know. It was blocking the outside, so you know, he had to go inside. So, you know, we went inside, made that big boy catch, you know what I'm saying? They can't stop me. Were you a little uh, stressed out? We only had about a minute left, or you knew you guys were going to get it done? We knew we was going to get it done. Ain't no stress here. We knew we was going to get the job done. Talk about your quarterback, Jonas Williams, who's had a great day today. He's really slinging it all around the field. Man, Jonas, he's a great quarterback, man. He's just he looking through his reads. He's making the right throws. He's doing a good job. All right, man, we'll get back to this game, get this last minute done. Back to you guys in the booth. Happy to say CJ McBean is back up, walking off the field at his own power. Had Talon Taylor's big old self land on top of him in the end zone there, but he seems to be all right. Team Toa with everything on the line. Down three with the ball. Oh my goodness! Did he get both feet in? Just one is all you need, and he did! Guys, what a throw. What a throw, what a catch. Marquis Keir getting one foot in right here was absolutely incredible. Look at this. Wow. Just getting that one down. Solid, soft hands, and they put themselves in perfect position here to get it back. 52 seconds is too much for this team total offense. When Madden is on, there's nobody who can stick with these guys. And, and also, another thing for me, I don't understand not going money drive right here. I really Insane. don't. Well, look, look at this. I, if you if you score a touchdown, you get a seven point lead, meaning that even if Midwest Boom puts up a prayer, all they can do is tie. Over the middle, that's Sanders with the catch. Second and goal, Kieran, I'm absolutely with you. And and not only am I with you, they're thinking, okay, we don't want to give defense the points. If you don't score, you're not winning. Game's over anyway. Let's go. There's, you can't take it home with you. Cannot take it home with you. The clock should continue. Oh, no, no, it's not, it's not. Stop on an incompletion. Stop on an incompletion. So that'll be third and goal. Team Toa down three, looking to go to the finals and face off against the Trillion Boys. Four o'clock Eastern on NFL Network. Can they punch it in? And, and for Boom, can you make a play right now when you've been so close time and time and time again? They always seem to make it to this point, and they just cannot make that championship game. Here we go. Keep your eyes on number two, Jace Brown. He's at the bottom of your screen. That's his favorite target in high school, out in Warren. Looking for him, over the top, incomplete. I think that was intended for Brown to run over the top there. It did look like he was going for Chase Brown. Just overshot it. It was a little option route, broke in, came back out, beautiful route. Where's the, the, the over away of the bunch right? You're gonna have one more opportunity down here to win this game. Oh, oh, you're right here, you're right here. It's all gonna Blue come down to this play right here. Yeah, 
Here we go. Fourth and goal, 21 seconds left. Final play for Team Toa on the eight yard line. Can they punch it in and face off against Trillion Boys in the finals? To the end zone. Touchdown! Oh my goodness! Chase Brown! What a catch by Chase Brown. Beautiful route at the pylon, line. And Team Toa takes the lead. Midwest Boom so close again. Brown is his favorite target in high school. At Warren High School, and Warren Bears fans are smiling. And now here we go. 16 seconds hey, left. Hey, this is this is what he I'm saying right He's now. He's out of bounds. Caught it. Oh, hey, One foot good. in. He's clearly in bounds. And hey, touchdown. In bounds. Here we go. We're right here. You know you are. I'm telling you right now, though, I don't for the life of me understand the lack of using a, a money a money drive. They, we have had so many teams put their money drive in their pocket right now. Boom can break their hearts right now because they're not up seven. If they would have used the money, the best that they could have done was get a tie ball game to overtime. Williams over the middle. Oh my As goodness. Willis, who skirts for a first down and more, and the clock stops and, and with nine seconds left, and Team Toa is asking for it. Team Toa, if, if they end up losing this game, they they did it to themselves. Because of coaching. Because, because of coaching. Co all you had to do was select hey, the listen, money drive. If yo, you wouldn't have got that drive, it wouldn't have happened anyway. We got comebacks at the front pylon. Two and four smash back pylon. Nine. Three. Eight. Give me a jerk route. Hey, no. Post dig drip. Post dig drip on the goal. Nine hey. seconds left. They could hypothetically the get zone, two though. plays off. Midwest Boom with the chance to do what they haven't been able to do yet. Make it to an OT7 championship. It's all on the line right here. Williams into the end zone. Oh! Oh! McBean seals it. Back from injury, CJ McBean makes the play to send Toa to the championship game. What a play by number three. He was just down and he saves his defense. What a game, what a play. Team Toa advances to the finals. Are you kidding? These have been the most anxiety inducing games. Mo, what just happened? I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Jonas Williams throws it into triple coverage. They sent two guys down the seams. He had his wideouts on the perimeter running comebacks. We heard the coach talking about a pre-snap to the front pylon. I would have liked him to target those guys, but hey, that's just armchair quarterback. He saw what he saw. He's been sharp all weekend, and Team Toa goes to the final. You hear the horn. It is time to get it on. Here we go. Orlando, Florida. Beautiful facility here. We have a 30 minute running clock. It's seven on seven, just one hand touch. There's no flag, there's no tackle, there's no two hand touch. And young Ryan Murkowski's taking a shot off the rip a little bit too long. <laughs> Wide receiver right there runs out of his shoes. That was Tavia McNair. Literally trying to, try to take the top off of the defense, ended up running out of his boots. So you have four seconds to get rid of the ball. After two seconds, the defense can rush the QB. From there, the QB can scramble, make a play happen with his feet, go past the line of scrimmage. But the most important thing is the QB has four seconds to get rid of the ball, or else it is a sack. Dead ball right there. Kowski drops back, taking another shot. Jonah Smith for seven. Absolute dot thrown right there by Ryan Kowski. You didn't think the freshman was ready for a championship moment? Think again, a dart. How about two straight shots by Ryan Rakowski? Jonah Smith out and up, fools the defender. It's a double move, and Ryan Rakowski, the anticipation, the timing, the touch, right there in the bread basket. That is why this offense leads all of OT7 in points for Jonah Smith, the UCLA commit from Rancho Santa Margarita out in California. Six feet tall, 175 pounds. Young guy, class of 2026, and he has been lighting up OT7 all spring. But now, it's Team Toa on offense. He's an absolute stud, man. And this Trillion Boys offense, off to a hot start against the best defense we've seen all weekend. Karen, we've seen a lot of Madden Iyamaleyave. His older brother was the star of OT7 season one. He's now the starting Q QB for Tennessee. And Madden is following his brother's footsteps quite nicely. Hey, man, if you thought that these guys weren't cut from the same cloth, they are. Madden, a little bit smaller, still got the same live arm, still got all the confidence in the world. If you saw him talking to Tom earlier, he's just a calm, cool, collected guy. 
Most of these quarterbacks, they're usually chilling in between games during pool play and whatnot. Not him. He's on his phone looking at film, re-watching the games that we were broadcasting earlier. Crazy. So you have to get to the other team's 20-yard line for a first down. You start on your own 10. So this will bring up a third and six for Team Toa and their offense. That's Madden wearing the soccer jersey. He's a four-star QB. Plays for Warren High School out there in Southern California. Up into the flat. That's complete. With some daylight. And into the end zone goes Team Toa. And just like that, don't blink. But Philippe, the plane. That's too much sauce. Number 22. Getting into the end zone. Dylan Booth with an easy separation. And take it off for the six. <laughs> How about that drive by Matt? And we all know about his arm strength pushing the ball down the field, but the question mark was his accuracy in the intermediate game. The ball placement allows for the yak yards after catch, and it's a beautiful first drive for them. That's complete out to the sideline. I like the celebration on the throne, by the way. Yeah, over there on the subway. Watch the throw. Ended up stepping up there, man. I mean, too, too easy. Too easy in that short area. He is their short area target. Got open. Sped off down the sideline. You cannot catch that man when he gets going. So we didn't even really get to talk about Rakowski because of the quick touchdown before. But Ryan Rakowski, class of 2027, had a great freshman year. Has offers already for Ole Miss, SMU. Taking another shot deep. Incomplete intended for Jonas Smith. Looking for his second touchdown of the game already. But Rakowski has impressed us maybe more than any other QB we've seen here at OT7. That's right, Ryan's ability to throw guys open is what separates him from others. Even on that last pass, yes, it was double coverage, but it was still on the money and could have been caught. Even when defenders have the wide receiver beat, he puts it back shoulder only where the wide receiver can catch it. And again, he's only a freshman, so his ability to do it at such a young age is incredible. I call him Mr. Ball Placement for a reason. Even when they're contested, he throws it right to where it needs to be. That will be just shy of first down yardage. Madden Williams, he's a four-star wide receiver there on the couch. He has offers from Oregon, Texas, FSU, Penn State. He has been a star. And really, it's a three-headed monster for the Trillion Boys. You're going to hear a lot about number six, Jonah Smith, Matt, number seven, Madden Williams, and number eight, Jacaden Ferguson. Those three guys have been targeted a ton by Rakowski. So fourth and one here, big play. Drops it off in the flat with room to run and throws up the deuces to Madden Williams. Trillion Boys back on top. Oh, that's crazy. Madden Williams skirting off after the little five-yard stop, hitting the top dance in the end zone. And I don't even know if that was a deuce. That might have been a what's up, brother, while he's while skirting off into the end zone. We're going to see it right here. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's actually a finger you waggle. You can't catch me. You cannot catch me. And, brother, he is a special player if there ever was one. <laughs> <laughs> These guys need OC7 in total touchdowns. They just cannot be stopped. At some point, you're just going to have to double team them, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, you can't double team both because then you have another target, Jacaden Ferguson, number eight for him, who's had an amazing weekend as well. This truly in boys offense. It's borderline unstoppable. Madden back to work here. Looking to keep up with the high power Trillion Boys offense. That's complete over the middle. That's Jace Brown, three star wide receiver. And Madden's favorite target in high school. They played together at Warren. So you mentioned Madden's older brother, Nico. He was the MVP of the Polynesian Bowl in 2023. He's now at Tennessee. He's going to be their starting QB this year. Madden, he'll be at the 2025 Polynesian Bowl. You can find that on the NFL Network. One of the premier events of the offseason. I got a chance to go this past year. Just contagious energy there. Unbelievable event out there in Oahu. And you know what? If they can invite me back, I will be saying yes. Let it be known. Um, sweet invite there to Hawaii. Yeah, sweet invite, Nate. Yeah. Thanks, be nice. <laughs> Look, our, our producer KJ in the truck, he knows I came back from that trip and was smiling for about 36 hours straight. I, I, that, that rejuvenated me. A nice little trip to Hawaii, watch some football. It sounds like a dream for to work, me. Yeah. For work. Third and 10 here. Ooh. Madden directing his receivers, just gets it off in time. And that will be right around the first down marker. They're giving it to him, and it will be first and goal from the 20 Chilling Boys sidelines. 
thinks it was four seconds. Samori and Wingo right there on the catch. Ended up getting open late after his initial route didn't work. But hey, scramble drill, wide receivers, work on it. <laughs> it's what's going to help out your quarterback in these dire situations. That's right. And now that we're getting into this lower red zone, the area is constricted. It's more difficult, difficult to complete balls. So watch Madden to target number two, his high school teammate, Jace Brown. He's able to throw with anticipation. He previously scored a game-winning touchdown to Jace on a comeback. He threw it before he even came out of his break. And that's only because they've thrown together so many different times. That's Dylan Booth with the catch. We saw him score a touchdown earlier. Young wideout, class of 2026. Just a couple offers from Western Kentucky, Portland State, but breakaway speed with a 5'9 wideout. I love how he gets open in short area. It, it reminds me of a young me. <laughs> <laughs> the yakness monster. Yeah, no, not on the football field, but whenever I needed to juke my mom out while stealing the football. That is towards the end zone. Out of bounds. I'll ever hit your mom with a dead leg in the kitchen to avoid her. You know what I mean? Catch with with the cookies, cookies. Cookies. Yeah, no, for sure. Oatmeal, raisin, peanut hey, butter, back in the day, that didn't matter. She's getting juked out. <laughs> That's what Dylan Booth game reminded me of. Strong Third coverage down. there. Marcellus down, Ryan, he's got offers from USC, Arizona, Third Georgia down. Tech. He's a three-star DB. Chilean Boys offense has been rolling 437 points so far this year, but their defense has a lot of star power on it as well. Madden, pull in the pocket, delivers a strike. And that's going to down to the two-yard line. It will be fourth and goal from the one big play coming up here. Yeah, you see Dylan Booth, number 22, Mr. Reliable. We saw them complete that early third down to him. Another one right here. He's so good in short spaces, these option routes. Basically, he's just reacting off of the leverage he's being presented by the defender, and he's making the right decision every time. See what they can do right here. Tola has been really efficient in this area of the field. Truly, this is where they've had some issues. Watch number two, Jace Brown, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Fourth and one to the end zone, touchdown! Number two for number 22, Dylan Booth. Who else? Who else? Dylan Booth in short areas, you know exactly where that ball's going to, Mo. That is Mr. Reliable, it is man-to-man -man coverage. There is no safety back there, and who are we going to? None other than Dylan Booth on a slam for the touchdown. Two for two for Dylan Booth early on in this game. Getting things going hot early for Tony. Excited for that, man. Cannot wait to have some football back. This is why I love OT7, though. Month of May, we're watching some elite championship level football. Rakowski towards the sideline, looking for Jonas Smith. A little bit out of the reach. Good coverage there. Uh, Javon Lamont downing. He's been a stunt DP for Team Toe this week. And in a game like this, with elite quarterback play that we've seen out of Ryan Rakowski and Madden, it's going to be up to these defenses to come out here and make a play. Toa has not had issues defensively all weekend long. I want to see if they can make a stop here against this Ryan Rakowski led team. Team Toa's defense, we've been talking about them all day long. They are so well prepared. And what they've done to combat this electric Trilling Boys offense is play off. So it's what you call cover four, four guys in deep coverages. We know that Trilling Boy loves to take shots. So I want to see Ryan Rakowski be content with taking the underneath stuff right here. Second and 20, needing to get to the other team's 20 for a first down. It's Rakowski oh. looking to take another shot. And it in the end zone. But out of bounds is Jacaden Ferguson. Ball led him a little bit too far. Just a bit outside there, Hyundai. Huh? Just a bit. Just a bit outside. Jacaden Ferguson getting open deep all weekend long. And as you see right here, we talk a lot about Madden and Jonah. Don't sleep on Jacaden. He had two big touchdowns in the first round of the playoffs to get them here. Had a big conversion at the end of the game. Back up, back up. So, with so much attention on the four stars, Smith and Williams, Ferguson has been eight. Out of Missouri City, same city that Colts draft pick A.D. Mitchell is from as well as Travis Scott. Decision. So we don't do special teams here at OT7. There's no punting. But you can do what we call flipping the field, which is giving up the other team at their 10-yard line. And that is what the training boys elect to do. So Team Toad gets the stop they were looking for. 
each play in this game, and Matt Iyamaliaba and his offense will take over at the 10-yard line. And flipping the field, smart decision here. Team Toa, great Roll defense. Team Toa will take over in just a second. Let's see if Matt Iyamaliaba can stay hot down here in Orlando, Florida. Network. So on your screen right there, that's Madden Iyamaliyaba, the four-star QB. Quick thing, you're going to hear us talk a lot about three stars, four stars, sometimes five stars. In the last five years, according to On3, that's the recruiting industry leader, 23% of all four-star recruits were drafted into the NFL over the last five years. So while there may always be Cinderella stories, we, we all love the Cinderella stories, if you're a four- or five-star recruit, coming out of high school, there's a good chance you're going to the league. There's a good chance you're watching some future NFL players in this game. In last year's draft, this is according to On3, not the one we just had, the one before, 49% of players drafted were either four or five stars coming out of high school. So, you know, again, there's always players who come out of nowhere and surprise us, but the four and five stars seem to get better the longer they play. No, definitely. Uh, the four and five star players, they're rated there for a reason. Uh, a lot of the recruiting industry puts these guys in, in those positions just because they think they're, they're going to be professional football players. And Madden is one of these four stars. The thing that catches me 
with him is his confidence as we see him threading that needle. He attempts throws that a lot of other quarterbacks would have. He got caught a few times in some of the pool play games, but we were watching him before this game, watching the tape, as you mentioned earlier, Keenan. This guy is a film rep. That's something that's going to translate to the next level. 100 Him and his older brother alike, dude, they, they're, they're capability of studying the game and having the eagerness to do so time and time again. Very impressive at that young age. Second and goal from inside the 10 yard line. Team Toa. Madden, scanning, throwing, delivery. Touchdown Team Toa and they jump ahead. Beautiful from Samori and Wingo right there. to work back outside after the initial slam is not there. That's right, with Madden, he starts right, then he goes left, and that's just backyard football. The slant's not there, they're giving you inside leverage. The football IQ on display by both the quarterback and the wide receiver to adjust the route in real time. Team Toa has looked great on defense with a QB like Madden when they get things going on offense. They look tough to beat. Ryan Rakowski has something to say about that. Off the hands of his receiver, the normally reliable Jonah Smith. So this Chilean boys offense, they've scored 437 points. Aaron, Aaron Amo, we've been on the call for so many of these. What stands out to you the most about this offense? Why are they so hard to stop? I think it all starts with Matt and Jonah, but it's also the places that they're putting him in. They line him up outside, they line him up inside. Right there, you just saw another slot corner route from Jonah, and he's getting separation on that time and time again. Yeah, they love playing with different formations, so you'll notice a lot of bunch looks, a lot of stack formations, a lot of switch releases, confusing the defense. And when you have speed on the perimeter with Jonah Smith and Madden Williams, that's a great combination. 16 minutes left in this one. Chilean boys down seven, driving here. A couple yards shy. First down. Second down. Second and two. Yeah, this creates a second and two. This is a shot down for you, Humma. It is, it is. Second and short, you want to take a shot, and that's what Trillian is known for. But also, how impressive has Team Toa been on defense? I know it's very early, but I love their linebacker, the Alabama commit. He has been balling both on both sides of the ball. He's so Taking a shot, looking for Matt Williams. He's looking for a flag, and he gets one. That will be on the defense, and we have our own overtime. Tom standing by with the coach of Team Tom, Big Nick. What's going on? Hey guys, I got Coach Big Nick. You're unhappy with that call, but that's okay. How do you feel the defense is playing so far, and throughout this whole tournament? They've been playing lights out. They've been helping us on offense, giving us more opportunities to score. So you know, we just got to capitalize on every opportunity. You got a lot of great players out here. You guys have participated in a lot of OT7 events. How cool is it to be on NFL Network now? A great opportunity for the guys. This is a blessing to be in this position where we're in right now. Um, these kids are getting ready, you know, they're on NFL work, Network, so they're, they're preparing to everybody back home get to watch them. And obviously you have two great sons who are quarterbacks, Nico over at Tennessee, Madden here. Talk to me about both of them, how hard they work, and what they're putting into it. Oh, it, it don't stop, man. You know, it's just been a continuous grind, and even right now we're still working. So we're, we're not to where uh, our end goal or our is, uh, so we're just going to continue to grind. Keep it up, Coach. We appreciate you. Back to you guys in the booth. Thank you, Tom. So it'll be a second and goal for Ryan Rakowski and the Trillion Boys. We're gonna tie this game up past the midway point. It's over the middle, that's complete to Jonah Smith. So we have a final event in goal, June. That's in Tampa. That's the OT7 five, championship. The mega championship. The mega championship. <laughs> the ultra mega super championship. Leading up to that, we've had four hey, divisions. Goal, this is our fourth that. one. We had Low Pro win weeks one and three. They punched their ticket to Tampa. We had Raw Miami. They won week two. So this week we will have a new winner with two teams that have not only never won. Uh, ever in uh, in season three, excuse me, but have never won in OT7. Exciting opportunity for both these teams. Yeah, both of these teams with a chance to finally get there. They both played in championship games before and come on short. So this is a huge moment. Oh my goodness. And there he is right there at Bull Sanders. What we're talking about. The Alabama committed linebacker. One of the most athletic linebackers in the country. He also plays a little bit on the offense. Abdul Sanders might be the single most athletic guy I've seen this entire weekend. His ability to move at the linebacker position, I mean, 
he almost caught that interception right there, right behind him. He also is a monster on the offensive side of the ball. We've seen him make multiple defenders miss on several occasions. Alabama has got themselves a great look. He's going to be spending his dollar parked in a holler underneath the mountain moonlight for the whole time. Crimson Tide down there in that Tuscaloosa, Alabama here pretty soon. He's a star linebacker for modern day out in California. Up in Dangerous throw. Almost intercepted. And that will be a turnover on Let's go! Team Toa's defense. Oh my goodness. We've never seen the Trillium boys look this slow. And I think it's in part because of the different looks that Team Toa has given them. Ryan Rakowski isn't comfortable because there is no predictability. They're, they're mixing zone, they're mixing man, and they have athletes on the perimeter to match the Trillium boys electric wide receivers. Because defense wins what? Championships. Defense wins championships, man. I, I love to see some good defense, and Toa has been dominant all week. Yamaliaba taking ball over, down. throwing over the middle. Beautiful ball. And that's complete for first down yardage to Christian Rodriguez from LA. And that ball was within three different defenders. How many high school quarterbacks are even attempting that throw? If you watch it on tape, that guy is covered. But Madden's ball placement and trajectory is what separates him from everyone else. I mean, wow, guys, what a throw is that? That was an incredible throw. The confidence to make that throw right there, out of, the, out of this world. Mo, you're a former USC QB, former Vanderbilt QB. You making that throw in high school? Hey. Man, yeah, it, it depends on what kind of receivers Gary. we got out there. I'd like to say yes. I would like to say yes. Short answer is no, Alex. I don't think he's uh, making it. <laughs> got it. Okay. Ooh. Madden in the pocket. Off the mark. Now, Mo, Madden seems ultra cool in the pocket. Very quiet in the pocket. Second and goal. But he also is athletic take over, you feel me? Talk oh, about over. his footwork and, and how he's going through his Carolina positions when he's in the pocket. Out of the quarterback position, everything running, starts guys. with your footwork. You want it to play with the routes. And again, it speaks to his ability to feel comfortable with these wideouts. They have such great chemistry, including Jace Brown, his high school teammate. It's matching with the progression, and it's working, guys. They're about to go up two scores right here. Well, with a good quarterback, everything else is locked through. <laughs> Always open. Towards the end zone, oh. little bit overthrown. Dylan Booth looking for his third. It's tough right there. Get my guy, third Dylan Booth, the out 18. there open on a wheel. Just hey, missing hey, him right there. The helmet hey, man, Matt, calm, cool, collected. It's not going to bother him. He'll be right back throwing a dart next to him. That's right. Dylan Neely with the hat trick would have been great. Especially Just outside of his reach. Yeah. Throwing up two possessions right here. Pair him out for a team toe because we know how quickly this Trillion Boys offense can erupt. Third and goal from the 18. A little bit more overcast here. And hot, sticky Orlando, Florida. Thrown out towards the sideline, that's complete. It'll bring up a massive play in this game. Fourth and goal. Fourth and goal. Mo, that's Chase Brown, the teammate of Madden Yamaliaba at Warren that you were talking about before. Big play in this game. Karen, who are you targeting? Right here, Jace Brown, the guy you're most comfortable with. I like him to, to, to climb the ladder a little bit. I, I, I want to see him on the top shelf where mama's cookies are hidden. You know what I mean? That's, that's where I want to see Jace Brown making a catch. We haven't seen much of it this weekend, but that's his go-to target. Down. Also, Abdul Sanders here lined up on the left side. He has great hands and body control. Has a linebacker on the offense. Madden towards the end zone. Touchdown! Sanders Jr. Sanders Jr. comes up with a big catch, says, let it be known then. I am here with the Bama commit, Abdul Sanders. You just caught a big touch on. What happened on that play first? Man, just on a little drag, over route. Uh -oh, you know, and now you're committed to Bama, but to play defense. And in high school, you also only play defense. So why are we seeing you out here at receiving? I'm here to make a play. Just do what my team need, you know. I play for these guys, they play for me, so I got to make sure it happens. You committed to Bama about a month ago. Take me through that process. How'd you make your decision? Uh, you know, they're recruiting me. I watched the team, Coach DeBoer, Courtney, all of them. And went to Bama, a bigger stage, and it just felt like home. They take care of me. You know, I'm ready to play. That's where you're going to be great. So that's what I'm there for. 
When you're locked in as a linebacker, are you going to try to get Coach to, uh, to split you out wide a little bit? Um, coach, did y'all see it? Let me give me the opportunity. I'll do it. I'll do it. There you go. Abdul Sanders, Alabama commit. We'll let him get back on the field. Back to you guys in the booth. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Sanders. I can see it right now. He's going to get in at fullback in a close game against my Texas Longhorns and get a contested catch to win the game, and I'm going to cry real tears. It'd be a real shame, wouldn't it? It'd be a real shame. Ooh. Rakowski over the middle. Complete. Tavian McNair. He's got offers from Utah, Arizona, Cal. Three star wideout, according to On Three. But guys, this. Team Toa defense has been absolutely outstanding. We were talking about Madden in the intro, and for good reason. But Team Toa's defense has really propelled them in this game. Only 162 points scored, and they really lock it down in the red area time and time again. Team Toa's defense is the reason why they're in this position, and they've been amazing all week. I can't, I can't stress this enough. It's the best defense we've seen all season long, and it's a complete contrast to what we saw what they had last season. They, they played really. Really solid on that side. The knock on seven on seven football is that there isn't a lot of defense, right? It should be easy to score. That is not the case here at OT7. Yes, it's only one hand touch. Yes, the QBs only have four seconds. But still, this is as close to a simulated football game with no hitting as you can get. We see the biggest players in the country making big plays. Time and time again, guys like CJ McBean and Stacey Jeff making plays in the back. And the defense back. It'll be second and goal from inside the 10. Nice catch there by Jonas Smith, the UCLA commit. Right here, you got Ryan Rakowski staying in rhythm, finding his guys. They're still not out of this game. They need to score right here. Very important drive, hitting the guys that he's most comfortable with, Jonah Smith. Jonah Smith says he idolizes Amon Ross St. Brown. You can see a lot of that in his game. He is tough to cover. He plays inside, he plays outside. He has that dog mentality. He's physical, and he has extremely solid hands. That's right, I've played with Amon Ross and St. Brown, and so there's a lot of similarities there, certainly. Even though he's committed to the rival school at UCLA, so we're gonna have to have a conversation about that. <laughs> Get him to flip, Mo. Get him to flip. I think I can do it. Third and goal. It'll be third and goal. That's Jonah right there. He's class of 2026, so still has some time before he heads to UCLA. Now this trio is so dynamic with Jonah Madden and Ryan. It'll be interesting if, to see if they choose to go to the same college. We see that sometimes package deals. Jonah's already committed to UCLA, so maybe we see all of them down there in Beverly Hills. Now, Jonah's got another year, so I know Madden's gonna be in his ear next year about, about teaming up for sure, because I know I would be if I was in Rakowski rolls out to the right, Madden Williams towards the end zone, and he gets it. They're automatic, man. Madden Williams, Jonah Smith, the law firm of Smith and Williams, they will subpoena your DBs. You better show up to court ready to face consequences for your actions because you played outside leverage and you made a mistake. There's no doubt these guys are never out of the game. Beautiful pass right there, just finding the open space. They've done this time and time again. Look at that outside leverage. He cuts right in. Great ball placement. Boom, one point, one score. Big possession in this game with Team Toa taking over on offense, trying to keep the Trillian boys at an arm's distance. It'll be first and 20 with under seven minutes remaining. The winner of this game will punch their ticket to the OT7 championship in June. That whole weekend will be here. Network. Yamaleyava drops back, throws the strike over the middle. That's his high school teammate, Jace Brown. Second, second and eight. 10. Toa's offense looks in sync. I was going to ask, Mo, what's the message right here to Matt and Yamaleyava? You're already up one. You know that if you go down to the field and just continue to score touchdowns, if they don't stop you, you're going to win this game. Yeah, I mean, you got the lead, like you said. So let's try not to do too much. Let's play within the offense. We don't have to take shots unless they're giving it to you, of course. Now, Trillian, they're playing this smart, right? Watch this corner. He's playing about 8 to 10 yards off to quarters coverage. Great first play. That's what you want to see him go down all the way through the field. Madden drops back. Back over the middle, and that's complete to Wingo, the four-star. We have overtime Tom standing by with Madden Williams of the Trillian Boys who just caught that last touchdown. What's up, guys? Yes, fellas, I got Madden. Take me through that touchdown first of all. Clutch one you guys needed to stay in the game. Uh, we're down one possession right now. 
we knew we needed to score, so we just do up the play and we scored. And now you are leading all of OT7 in touchdowns. Was that uh, it's been a little bit easy for you out here? Uh, I guess you could say that. It's it's just good execution. There you go. There you go. Give him a lot of credit to the team. No, no, nothing. All right, good, good. No, what? Oh, the team is amazing. Play calling by Josh is amazing. Ryan's a great quarterback. My receivers helped me get open. It's an amazing Second team. Second down. Second and goal. Now, what goals you got on? Is that Ole Miss? You got Jonah who's out here who committed to UCLA. Do we know where you're going to college yet? No. Tune in this summer though. By the end of the summer. What's the list looking like? You'll, you'll find out this summer. This guy doesn't give me anything. Madden Williams, everyone, the league leader in touchdowns at OT7. The four-star wideout at St. John Bosco. The floodgates are open. Marcellus Ryan, we said his name earlier. The three-star DP with offers from USC, Arizona, Georgia Tech, jumps the route and a crucial decision there by Madney Yamalayava. And we have a tie ball game, folks. What a turn of events right there. In the clutch, four minutes on the clock, things were looking dire. Marcellus Ryan turning it all around. Mo. What did we just watch? What a clutch play, first of all, by Marcellus Ryan to put this team right back in there. But from the quarterback standpoint, we just have to throw with anticipation. I think he was a little late going through his read. Typically, he is much better with that. I'm going to look for him to respond correctly right now. Second one. No, he said it was on a trillion boy. So it'll be first down. We had a flag on the play. First and 15. For taunting. Sun is back shining here. Hot day in Orlando, Florida. It's been a great weekend here. OT7 week four. Madden towards the side, a little bit high. No problem for Jace Brown. And it will be second and short, just needing to get to the other team's 20 with three minutes remaining. I like what they're doing right here. Second and three. Just taking what the defense is giving them. Now, both of these teams still have their money drives. I want to see how they, how these coaches use strategy to use these late in the game. So initially, if this is your first time watching OT7 football, we have a thing called the money drive where it gives each team one chance to up the stakes. You get 10 points for a touchdown, but you're also giving the defense a chance to score. So no money drive here. It'll be interesting to see. The next possession is Chili Boys or Team Toa use theirs. But Team Toa makes up for what they lacked last, last possession. Touchdown, Team Toa. And that is the making of an elite quarterback. We saw him make the mistakes on the pick seven on the fire horn. What does he do? Two play drive right here. Finds his star wide receiver right there. Puts it right on him. Velocity. If he puts too much air on it, guys, that is intercepted. Right, so he understood the coverage, the football IQ coming into play, and they take the lead. And with two minutes left, the Trillion Boys use their money drive as we were talking about. Karen, break down the score. Money drive is worth 10 points if the offense scores a touchdown, but it comes with a risk. If you get stopped, it's four points for the defense. If you throw an interception, six points for the defense. And if they return it for a touchdown, it is 10 points for the defense. So right here, Truly has a chance to take the lead in this ball game late. Over the middle, intercepted! Touchdown with the lead, we are gonna have a flag for excessive jamming. We allow jamming here at OT7, but that was a little bit overdone. We saw two flags come in immediately. Repeat first down. And it will be a trillion boys ball. Repeat first down. Take a look at the top of your screen. Oh my goodness, my heart. My heart rate is through the roof right now. Excessive jamming on the play. Wow. They got bailed out. Bailed out. Wide receiver falls. It's a wheel curl. He sees the defender. He's off coverage. Comes back to him, rightly so, but just doesn't stand up. Stay on the ground. First and five complete over the middle. And up to the 10 yard line is Madden Williams. That is the one minute, one minute warning. warning. The Chili Boys are on the doorstep. Don't go anywhere. Both these teams are competing for a chance to go to the OT7 Championship. Tampa, Florida in June, bringing the big trophy home. Karen's been holding on to it for a couple of days now, taking good care of it. 
Both these teams have never won an OT7 Divisional, trying to take home their first right now. Nah, this, is th this thing is beautiful, man. I know you guys look like Willy Wonka, and this is a golden ticket to Tampa, our championship in a couple of, in a, in a couple of weeks. I, I'm excited to see if these teams can get there first. I've had my hands on a lot. <laughs> Clock is running. And here we go. Over the middle, that's Madden Williams. And around second 45 down. seconds left second down, second are the Chilean boys. A touchdown will win the game. This is their money drive. A touchdown is worth 10. Rakowski in the pocket, scanning, throwing, delivering. Touchdown, Madden Williams. And with 32 seconds left on the clock, Chilean boys could be 32 seconds away from their first OT7 championship. After all of the time that they spent in close games, losing in semis and championships, can they get one more stop to take this to the next level? Man, Madden Williams, such a smart football player. It's all about running to green grass. He doesn't run to get covered. He saw what the coverage looked like pre-snap, and made the decision to get back in back the end zone, and boom, Ryan Rakowski finds it for a touchdown. 32 seconds left in this ball game. Four-star QB, Matt Iyamaleyava, the younger brother of Nico Iyamaleyava, the quarterback for Tennessee. Can he lead his team down the field and get a game-winning touchdown here, winning the OT7 Week 4 Divisional? That's an early, quick completion. Clock will continue to run. Tick, 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 tick. 22 seconds left. They're at midfield. They need 25 yards for a touchdown. Madden drops back. Another completion does not get out of bounds. Down, the clock will continue down, to run with 12 oh, seconds left. Clock is still running. They need to get this out of bounds as quick as possible or take a shot to the end zone. Madden towards the sideline. Incomplete, incomplete. Incomplete, oh, and with seconds. two seconds Second. left, they will have one Second. final shot from midfield. That was not good in terms of clock management at the end of the game. Just staying in bounds barely. They had the opportunity to run out of bounds on a couple of outs. Mo, what was going on? Yeah, in terms of the yards they got and the time they lost, not worth it. That is a bad deal. You'd rather have all the completions and save the time. Time is of the essence. You have to get out of bounds at all costs. They get a final shot here at the end zone with two seconds left. Keep your eye on Jace Brown, number two. Madden's high school team at one. Last play, everything on the line. Here we go. Going towards the corner for Brown. Incomplete, and the Charlie boys win their first OT7 championship. The Pierce Lady Boys.